Hi, my name is Andrew Kinney. I'm a Social Security attorney. I practice at Holden Law Offices. Today I want to talk about how you could get benefits for multi-system problems. It's a fancy word for problems that affect your whole body. Examples would be fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. For anyone that has, for instance, fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, in my experience, it seems like the diagnosis is one of the most difficult parts of this. There are symptoms that can be other problems. Doctors spend a lot of time in my review of medical records eliminating other causes for the symptoms, for instance, of, for instance, of fatigue or malaise um, or feverishness or muscle pain. Um, but when it comes down to it, these problems are diagnosed by doctors all the time. What Social Security looks at is, do you have a diagnosis of, for instance, fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome? Second is a diagnosis supported by objective evidence, in other words, on examination, so, and by laboratory tests. Um, an example with fibromyalgia is that there are tender points that doctors verify to see that you have at least a certain number of them to confirm the diagnosis. Social Security not, doesn't just look at medical evidence, but they weigh evidence. Primary care doctors are important because they know you best. It may be with fibromyalgia, for instance, that you go to a rheumatologist to confirm the diagnosis and perhaps get specialized medication for that. Other multi-system problems such as rheumatoid arthritis would be along the same line. You need to make sure that you regularly treat, that you meet with doctors that are treating you specifically for that problem and that any problems in terms of your ability to work or symptoms, make sure to bring it up with your doctor. Having the diagnosis is not enough. If you've seen any other videos that have done on different medical problems as they relate to Social Security, hopefully you know that. Getting a diagnosis is the beginning, and certainly with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, there's usually a long fight to even acknowledge that you have something that can be measured. But once you're diagnosed with these problems, it's not only good to treat, certainly take medications as your doctor requests, but finally, keep track of your symptoms. Let your doctor know how many days are so bad that you can't get out of bed. Those sorts of things, when you treat with your doctor and communicate specifics about your day-to-day -day activities, do make it into the medical record. And what's important is when you apply for Social Security and let's say you're denied at the first step level and the second level, the reconsideration level, there's a hearing. And at that hearing, we'll look at the medical evidence and as an attorney, I argue that you're bringing these issues up with your doctor and the question for a Social Security judge ultimately will be, are you able to work full time? Do your problems exhaust you? Do your problems cause you to miss, would your problems cause you to miss, for instance, more than two days a month? There's an absenteeism issue that you may have good and bad days, but the question for the judge is, could you hold a full-time job and not miss more than two days a month, among other questions. So keep in mind that if you have problems that have affected your ability to hold jobs and your doctors ultimately have confirmed that you have these sorts of impairments, please consider applying for Social Security Disability. If you got denied and didn't appeal, you can request within a certain amount of time, a reasonable amount of time to reopen and uh, a missed deadline. But ultimately, pursue Social Security through to a hearing. If you know you don't feel well and your doctors know how you feel and you have a diagnosis, those are the elements of a possible favorable decision. Hang in there. Good luck. If you have questions about Social Security generally, you can go to our website at holdonlaw.com. If you have, you may want our help, we have our number at 1-800-850-7867. Feel free to call us if you haven't applied or if you need to appeal or if you have some questions. We can help you. We do not charge unless you're approved. Um, and so keep in mind, finally, that there are different entities that do Social Security work. Find one you're comfortable with. Find licensed attorneys. Find licensed attorneys that are in your region. The goal is that the attorneys know the judges, know the hearing offices, and understand the process. So by all means, if you call us or anyone else, ask a lot of questions because you deserve it. Hopefully you feel better, but if you need Social Security, we're here for you. Thank you.